Okay, what do we have here? Ryan Garcia failed to do PED testing in his last fight. But do not fret. In this video, you will find out the conditions and there is drug testing for Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Let me break it all down right now. Subscribe. VADA, the VADA testing org on their verified page, they put VADA testing welcomes Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney or Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney to our program through their April 20th bout. Tag Golden Boy, Tag Golden Boy President, Eric Gomez, WBC, WBC Boxing. So it is very good to see this. Now, Victor Conti, who, full disclosure, he does work with Devin Haney with the snack program. He said props to Golden Boy Boxing for sponsoring eight weeks of stringent VADA testing for Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia and with complete transparency. Boxing fans deserve to know which boxers are doing full VADA for a significant period of time. Clean boxing is important to all involved. End quote. Now, Victor Conti did not stop there. Victor Conti, you guys see the other tweet that he put right on the screen. Says props to Devin Haney for demanding eight weeks of stringent. So he's saying Devin Haney demanded eight weeks of stringent VADA testing for his upcoming bout with Ryan Garcia. He says Golden Boy provided sponsorship. So Golden Boy is, is down. But here's the part that's interesting. Pay close attention to what I'm about to say. Victor Conti says, in my opinion, transparency is important. Boxing deserves to know that Ryan Garcia did not do any training camp drug testing for his last fight. So Victor Conti wrote a second similar tweet on X, formerly known as Twitter, and he wanted this to be known. He, he wanted to highlight that Ryan Garcia didn't do any drug testing for his last fight. So my thoughts, I'm very glad that Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia has the proper testing. They're doing eight weeks. I mean, usually a little bit longer is better. But at this point, you know, some some fights don't even have it. So eight weeks, usually fighters are in camp six to eight weeks. It is what it is. The fight is April 20th. And it is good to see a big major fight, fight that people can get behind that are excited and that they're doing the proper testing to ensure that it's clean for both the fighters. You know, Ryan Garcia, I don't know what happened in his last fight. Like, I mean, Ryan Garcia has a couple different things at play here. Ryan Garcia, for one, in his last fight, it was at a catch weight. Not my opinion. That's what the fight was held at a catch weight. So I don't know exactly what went on. He lost to Gervonta Tank Davis via stoppage. Tank Davis won every round. In result, he stopped Ryan Garcia and he dropped him a first time. And then he dropped him a second time. And the second time he dropped him, he stopped it. Ryan Garcia fought that fight with Gervonta at a catchway to 136. Then he says he is going to move up in weight category and he's going to be campaigning at 140. I was under the impression that his fight with Oscar Duarte, who was a lightweight, was happening at 135. But literally the week of the fight, I found out that it was actually at a catch weight. And this is the fight right now that you see on the screen. It was actually at a catch weight higher than 140. 
don't quote me on this but i think it was 144 144 but i don't have notes this is a freestyle video so for whatever reason ryan garcia's last fight wasn't at the 140 division which to be honest that's a bit concerning especially as we go into the devin haney fight and i will fully break down why i feel that in this video the reason why i believe that's concerning is ryan garcia was coming from the lightweight division where he pretty much spent his whole career at 135 and he was having to make the weight you had plus one pound with javante tang davis in that particular fight again you came up on the short end of the stick losing that bout to javante davis so moving up to 140 should have given you the cushion where you have to lose less weight because whatever your walk around weight is instead of siphoning down and tapping your body down to 136 135 you had an additional four pounds but you needed an additional eight pounds because you fought oscar duerte who was a lightweight and you fought him at 144 so he had to move from lightweight to 144 it's no wonder as soon as you landed your money left hook you were able to stop him and then now you have victor conti again who is saying boom shout out to devin haney for requesting stringent testing but ryan didn't have testing now this is not my information this is victor conti this is what he is suggesting this is what he is saying but the reason it could be true is because ryan garcia was having plenty of problems in his last fight with golden boy bernard hopkins and oscar de la hoya in fact there were some of the most awkward moments in recent boxing as far as press conferences are concerned where ryan was basically talking bad about his promoter and talking about golden boy and things like that and they were right there behind him and you see oscar de la hoya he's getting all fidgety and he's uh rolling his eyes and he's he's just like rubbing his eye you could tell he was like stressed out or whatever because ryan wasn't on code and b hop was doing interviews saying that ryan garcia should retire depending on how he looks versus duerte then at the press conference ryan is talking about b hop don't make no decisions over here it was just like real chaotic ryan has since done a podcast interview and it sounds like he's talked to de la hoya so we'll see what the relationship looks like for the haney fight again i am glad that the haney fight has the eight weeks of drug testing you you love to see it for a mega fight ryan garcia he's moving up it, well i guess he he moved up already versus duerte but now he's gonna have to make 140 to my knowledge the haney i haven't heard anything that contradicts this but haney versus ryan should be taking place at 140 because it's for devin haney's 140 pound belt now i did cover devin haney's last fight sensational performance by devin haney he moved up in weight himself now the interesting thing about devin haney moving up in weight since i talked about ryan's weight see the this proves that i'm the best in the business i made boxing look pretty best in the business and it's not even close i give you both sides of the spectrum i give my opinion but i also let you guys hear objectively what's going on in the sport of boxing i noticed there's a lot of people that don't do that you could clearly see who their favorites are and who they're back in and stuff like that because of the way they deliver the information me this is business as usual it's always business it's never nothing personal so i talked about ryan's weight and the catch weight so i would be remiss to not talk about devin haney the interesting thing is this picture was devin haney at the fight that i covered versus oscar duerte he looked big but he made weight the very next day devin haney rehydrated several pounds and he went from 140 to 165 so that's a lot of weight i seen keith thurman he did an interview and he basically suggested we'll say 
or insinuated that Devin Haney took some kind of rehydration IV. So nonetheless, he said fighters sneak and do the rehydration. So Devin Haney, he got some size to him and he rehydrates well. There's full drug testing for eight weeks for both fighters. Ryan Garcia, new to the division. Devin Haney, new to the division. Another thing I do like about the Haney Garcia fight, it's at 140 for the title. And both guys, they made their move up kind of around the same time, if we're being real. If I'm not mistaken, Devin's first fight was in December and that Duarte fight was October, November. So they both made the, the plunge upward to the 140 pound bait. Even though Ryan, I just told you it was a catch weight of 144. It's in the 140 pound division basically. So I like that they both transitioned from lightweights. Devin last fought against Lomachenko and then Ryan, again, he lost to Javante Davis and then they moved up around the same time. So the thing I like about that is neither guy has a significant advantage in terms of like it would be one thing if let's say Devin Haney moved up a long time ago and he had six fights in the new division and then Ryan just got here you know because Ryan has never been a champion but as far as I'm concerned this is a great stylistic matchup they both fought each other in the amateurs and they both have made the the ascension up to 140 around the same time they both have one fight a piece as 140 pounders i mean i guess technically ryan garcia i think he did some of those other fights with emmanuel tiptoes and stuff at 140 pounds but i don't really count those because at the end of the day even the duerte fight technically but the other fights with emmanuel tiptoes and guys like javier fortuna they definitely weren't 140 pounders for real so Devin Haney, full-fledged 140 pounder, rehydrated a lot to 165. Ryan Garcia, you know, I got a video coming, Ego Weight Watchers. You guys need to subscribe to the channel for that video. It'll be up soon. Ryan is, it looks like he's bulking up. So I definitely love the fact that this big fight has eight weeks of drug testing. Now, as far as Victor Conti, He's saying that Ryan didn't have drug testing in his last fight and Devin Haney insisted on the testing for this fight. Let me know what you guys think. YouTube will also show you some other videos so you can get caught up with all your boxing news with Boxing Ego.